Welcome back Year 7 and welcome to the lesson 2 of how to draw a toothbrush for Year 7 art. So for this lesson you're going to need a couple of materials that you need to gather now. So you need to gather your A4 sketchbook that you have been drawing in. You need to gather your toothbrush that you was drawing last week. Make sure it's yours to keep it hygienic. You are going to need a pencil and a rubber. Please pause this video now to go and collect the materials. So what you're going to do today is you're going to be drawing a toothbrush the same as you did last week from first hand observation, but you are going to be using a different technique. This one is going to be taking away from the paper. So what do I mean by that? So let's take your toothbrush. It needs to be the same as last week and you're going to take your pencil and pen. The first thing that you are going to do is you are going to shade the middle of your sketchbook. Do it neatly. Do it in the same direction. You don't want to do it too hard as you're going to need your rubber. Use the pencil on the side, not going straight down. Use the pencil on the side, you get a nice shaded tone. Do from one, page, one, one end of the page to the other. What you don't want to do is go up or down from one to the other because you need to think about the length of your toothbrush. Once you're finished, what you may want to do is just use your finger and rub the background slightly just to make it a bit more smoother. You don't have to do this, but you can if you want to. Okay, once you have finished shading in your background what you are going to do is take your toothbrush and take your rubber you don't need your pencil for now so what you're going to do is you're going to have a look and you're going to draw with your rubber you're going to take away from the pencil okay so looking at your rubber at uh, your toothbrush sorry you're going to use your rubber and you're going to look at where the highlights are okay so here mine's on the edge here and the top. So using the rubber, I'm going to start drawing so I've got a curve at the bottom, the same way you would draw out last week. You have this shape here. So using a rubber to just take away and create the shape of your toothbrush. Bristles. And then we have the body. Okay, so. What happens if we make a mistake? What can we do? We won't, won't use, normally we, we would use a rubber. This time, if we make a mistake using the rubber, we use the pencil. So if you make a mistake, just shade in that area again with your pencil. That is how you get rid of your mistake. Okay, so back to the rubber. Okay, I've got these indents here, and the way I get the way I achieve them is looking at where they are. Okay, 
Okay, and then it just comes a bit thicker. Remember, you do not need a rubber to create. Uh, you sorry, you do not need a ruler to create the straight lines. If you need to fill in any parts here, so I've got some shade in here, just fill them. Back in. Okay. Once you have completed your tonal, so once you've got out your highlights, you can start then using your pencil to get in the dark areas. So my noticeable dark areas are on the actual head of the toothbrush. Okay, so I'm going to start adding some shading, darker shading, to the head of my toothbrush and towards the back of the toothbrush. That's where I've got my darkest tones and my darkest shading. Blend it into the background if you want. Create a bit of shading underneath as the darker tones are here. We got the bristles here. So if you make a mistake, just use your rubber. Draw in some bristles, the dark areas. And you could create a toothbrush taken away on the background, adding highlights, and then re adding. Thank you very much, Year 7. Remember, once you have completed your work, photograph it and upload class charts for your teacher to mark. Remember, when you take a photograph of your own work, photograph it like that with your toothbrush underneath so we can see that your toothbrush matches your drawing and that is how you will be based. Do not copy my drawing as my toothbrush is going to be very, very different from yours. And that will be evident in the way you draw your toothbrush. Okay? Be very careful, be very mindful. Work to the best of your ability and bear in mind your minimum grade. Thank you, Year 7.